Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Doug and I've got a very short and direct topic for you today around your fitted baseball caps. And that is a problem that I get uh, quite frequent comments on my channel about and that is what to do when you've got a very flat and kind of squared off crown. I think as we've seen the rise of imported caps by New Era in the 5950 model, um, a lot of the comments and questions that I get on my channel tend to be, wow, it seems like uh, the crowns are getting flatter and more square as, as the years go by. Um, and there's some things you can do that are pretty easy to get a more rounded shape. So I've covered that in a couple other videos where you can use steam to shape the corners of the crown. I also wanted to show you a different way of approaching that today and really what that involves is this right here which is a um, this is actually a size one soccer ball uh, sometimes known as a skills ball and uh, it happens to be just about the perfect size to fit inside the crown of your cap so when you're dealing with the stiff buckram up here that really retains the structured shape of the 5950 um, you can use this as a form to get a little bit more round shape in there and uh, you really pair this up with a hair dryer to give the heat to the buckram to shape that so let's go ahead and take a look and see how we can do this um, i've got a cap in mind uh, that's one i bought uh, a little while ago and it's an oakland a's cap it came it was about one of the flattest caps i've ever purchased in terms of w the way it came delivered to my house the top of the cap was extremely squared off it was just unbelievable so i shaped it a little bit by hand uh, over the tea kettle with steam and uh, what I'm going to do today is use the skills ball to uh, give a little bit more rounded shape to that crown. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this should be pretty simple and straightforward. We're just going to hit the uh, inside of the cap with uh, heat here with the hair dryer. And I'm just going to hit the upper part of those two panels in the buckram. Of course, this is the very stiff material that gives us the structured crown. And this cap is very flat. Um, so we're going to use the ball after I heat that. Um, again, you just really have to keep this on until you feel the buckram really getting soft inside of there. And I'm wearing gloves just because uh, you start to feel the heat from this. And then when you got to form it, um, you got to press on the hot material against the ball. So it's good to just have some gloves on if you got them. So you really just need to keep going with this. I've got this on high heat right now. I can feel it getting warm even through my gloves. And as soon as that buckram starts to get soft and it really moves easily, that's when you know it's time to go, especially if you can feel it through the gloves or the front panels. Um, that's the time to shut it off and then get it on the shape. So I'm gonna shut that off here. Put that down. And then basically, I'm just going to hold that in place. You can see it's already given a little bit of a peak to the top, but we're definitely getting some rounding at the corners. I probably was holding the heat on for about 45 seconds or so. It really just depends on the hair dryer that you have. Maybe 30 seconds if you get it on high heat, just when the buckram gets soft. And again, don't uh, heat it so much that you're melting the buckram. That's uh, something to be careful of. You can use your hand to kind of press and hold it against the ball, too. This is feeling like it's cooling off quite a bit. So, but hopefully, even from this view, you can see a little bit that we're able to create a little bit more of a curve here and here. That's what I've done in other videos with, with the steaming and doing it by hand. This is just another different way to do that. There we got a little bit more roundness to it, and that's all there is to it. The only other thing that sometimes you get is a little bit of a ridge here because of the shape of the ball. That might pick up a little bit more. But overall, you can repeat this too if you really want to shape that a little bit more. But it's really subtle here what I've done, but I think I'm going to like this a lot more because I do like that curve there. Um, and I think this is going to work out better for the way I like my caps to ordinarily look. All right, so a couple of things to remember is that if you make a mistake, if you do anything wrong to the buckram, 
it can be heated and reshaped again. The only thing you just gotta be careful of is don't overheat it. You don't wanna get into a situation where you're melting that or anything like that, which I have had a couple of viewers comment on. So uh, just make sure you're proceeding carefully. But other than that, it's very durable. It can be heated and reshaped again and again. Um, so just remember this technique with the hair dryer and uh, a form like the skills ball that I used here, and that can help you shape that crown. With this particular cap, I'll throw on some photos of what I believe to be kind of the before and after conditions of what you get. Um, when you press this uh, ball shape or whatever form you're using upwards, it might create a little bit of a peak in the crown, but overall you're just trying to get that rounded look. Um, and the material's gotta go somewhere, so I think the trade-off is pretty good. Um, it might go a little bit higher in height, get a little bit of a peak, but it's also gonna give you the rounded appearance if that's what you're looking for. So anyways, just keep that in mind. Other than that, that was really all I wanted to cover with you today. You can see the results that I got. Hopefully that's helpful for you if you want a more rounded look to your crown. Hope you got something out of that, and as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.